What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to an impromptu episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. So today I have been playing around with the Atari VCS 800. That's this little guy right here. This this dude, this dude right here. And um, on the uh, previous video, two apologies. Apologies number one. Sorry for the incredibly uh, low-sounding me and the incredibly high-sounding gameplay footage, uh, if you guys were there to hear that. Um, I am actually going to do some testing right now to see if this is any good. And if this is good, you're going to see this. If, it does, if it's not good, then I just recorded this for absolutely no reason. But besides that, I did find something kind of cool. So if you guys remember when we blasted back into the past of the very last video that we just showed you, I found a small little weird glitch when we were playing 2600 games. And it was, I thought it was like HDMI capture. I tried different capture cards. I tried different cables. I tried all this stuff and I kept replicating the same problem. I played asteroids. I could either see my ship or the asteroids or neither. Or I played Yards of Revenge and I could see my ship and the base, but not the thing I was supposed to be shooting, or I couldn't see, like, the floating little guy that was coming after me, right? The little, uh, little heat-seeking missile guy. So, what did I do? Well, I started tinkering around. So, let's go ahead and go to the overlay here. And, uh, as you see here, I'm in the box. I'm in the box. Um, and, um, but I've got Yara's Revenge open, right? So... What I found was if you go down to options here, and then you go down to game here, not display, but game, flicker, right? You got authentic or filtered. Apparently, if you leave authentic on, it like messes up capture somehow. I don't know why, I don't know how, whatever, HDMI doesn't like it, I don't know. Maybe it looks great on a TV, that doesn't have like oh you know any of the scan features or any of that like helper stuff, um, you know if you got a 120 hertz TV you got like all that kind of stuff coming in, um, uh, you know like um, I'm trying to think, I I don't know there's there's all different brand names for it but it's the stuff that makes the the picture smoother like your motion scan and like that kind of stuff. Anyway, filtered is the way you want to go if you're going to be someone like me and you're doing YouTube or you want to do some capture, or you want to share some footage with somebody, filter it is the way. Now, in the other options, in display, you also have, like, your arcade bezel art. You can have that on or off. You can have scan, scan lines on or off if you want to make it look like a TV, or if you want to make it look uh, basically pixel for pixel without, like, any kind of filtering. I kind of like the scan lines because it kind of gives you, like, that, that old-school feel, but I don't know. I've been playing around different different ways who knows if we're going to keep it or not. And then your vector game display. So that this is for when you're playing any of those other vector graphics games like Asteroids on the arcade. You have standard, none, realistic, bright, bold, and then standard again. So I left it on standard. I played around for a little bit and I, I tried uh, realistic and... Um, I didn't really see a, a discernible difference, but maybe it could be because I'm looking at this little screen or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, so it looks like everything's all good. So without completely um, calling myself uh, out on this, we are going to hit this button. We're going to hit resume. We're going to go back into Yars Revenge. All right. And we've got some Yars Revenge action. All right, so you got the scan lines here. I can see everybody here. And on top of it all, um, you know, it, you know, it's basically the way it's supposed to be, right? Um, oh, coming after me. But yeah, well, take a look at this. Oh, ah. Actually, I was playing much better when I was playing before, but you know. You know how this goes. You know how this goes. Got the nerves. Got the nerves. Boom. Take that, base. All right. So, anyway, let's get out of here, and then let's go to Asteroids, and I'll show you guys Asteroids. Um, and Asteroids should be looking like Asteroids. So, here we are. Boom. 
Now, see, so you, you get the scan lines going through the uh, little uh, asteroids that are coming by. You can kind of see that they have, like, that old-school flicker on them. Um, so it's kind of cool looking. Um, you know, I guess, you know, I can see, you know, that people would, would like this um, as, a, like, a default view. Um, I kind of, you know, getting that old nostalgia feel. Like I'm back in the Atari room in my in my house where I grew up, you know, rocking out to some quick asteroids action. All right, but this isn't a gameplay video. Um, we're just gonna go and and do that stuff. So let me go back to the main menu. Um, I like how it kind of like also like has this like weird quick save thing in the background because like resume means it actually goes back to the game in progress. So it kind of holds your session in memory. I don't know if that holds it when you turn it off and then back on, but I mean, who knows? So anyway, I'm going to go back into options and I'm going to show you what it looks like. If I go to display, um, I'm going to turn the scan lines off real quick and I'm going to show you how that looks. Um, see if you guys like, you know, prefer that or not or whatever. So, so we're going to go back in, resume. All right. So now the scan lines are off, everything looks a little crisper, a little brighter. Um, so again, it's all personal preference. Um, you know, if I was playing for score, you know, if I was going to play a, um, you know, in, a, in a tournament or something like that, I don't know, I'd probably say, mm, maybe I'd turn in these off just so I can get that edge, so I can, like, really see everything that's going on. So, oh, let's see if I can get my my free guy real quick. Cause uh, free guys are at five grand. There it is. See, I got the free, free guy. That's all cool. I am like blasting away here. But again, this isn't a gameplay video. We're just testing stuff out and, and fooling stuff around with the, the VCS. So um, that's pretty much uh, what I have for you here. Um, if, uh, if you guys you know, have anything else for me, hop down in the comments below and say, Hey, um, you know, cool. Thanks for the tip. Also, you could be like, Hey, Rich, you just wasted seven minutes of my life. I already knew all that. Okay. Sorry, man. You know, I didn't, I, <laughs> I went in cold and I was trying to do all this capture. And then all of a sudden the, the footage is like, you know, all janky and, Ah, oh, it was a mess. It was a mess. But anyway, hopefully, again, all this uh, stuff is good. You can hear me. You could hear the game audio, but it wasn't too loud and all that stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's what it is. Um, um, all of the other things. Please hit the likes. Hit the subscribes. Hit all of the things that you need to do here for us. Don't forget to check the description down below for all of the other things that you could do. Like visit my friend. Chris, the Atari creep over at his channel, check out his videos and it would be Pete and his videos. And of course, hit that link, the all important link for Chris call the Atari creeps walk down Alzheimer's cool from campaign. It's li you know, like completely lost of words here. Hit up his campaign, share his link. You got an extra couple bucks, throw it at him, do it, do it up. It's he's, he's already smashed his $1,000 goal. I'm saying, you know what? That's not good enough. Let's go and double it. Let's triple it. Let's, let's just, just crush this thing. Take a giant hammer and just be like, boom. That's it. I'm hype. We only just began. He, he started the thing like a week ago. And he usually runs the promotion all the way through October. And we haven't even started our joint promotion yet. Which I'm still teasing. Yes, it's coming. More cool things coming your way. Very soon. But for now... That's it. So thank you if you did the things. And thank you if you didn't do the things. Thanks, just thanks for watching. Thanks for coming in and s hanging out and s watching this face talk to you. Anyway, I'm Rich. Uh, we will catch you next time for some good times. I did this in reverse order. And we'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys. King of RTFC.BaconIceCream.com